I like to acknowledge that I am on unceded Coast Salish territories, uh, land of the Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil people. And I want to thank you, and I'm grateful for being a settler on your land. My name is Lily. Sometimes I go by Yudi. I just turned 70 years old this year. I would describe myself as a, a social justice uh, advocate and a political activist, as well as a athlete, healer. Uh, for fun, I love to play my ukulele, and I like to uh, play games night with my friends. Oh, and I love to dance. I've always been a troublemaker. <laughs> I would say I'm grateful for my life experience, the things I learned from my family and my friends, and my young friends especially. Because of the circumstances of what the government did to my people during uh, the Second World War, I had to face a lot of racism. My first experience with racism, I was in grade three, I had a white teacher. One of the stories was about the uh, war, and the word Jack was in there. And so the teacher asked me to read it, and I, I refused to read it. And she said, it rhymes with lap, it rhymes with map, it rhymes with it. I said, I know what it is. I said, but I'm not going to say it. So she says, are you going to say you're sorry? And I says, no, are you going to say you're sorry? And she said, no. So we came to a standstill, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30. She kept coming in. Are you going to say you're sorry? No, I'm not. So 5.30, she said, okay, if you're going to be stubborn, I'm going to write a letter home to your parents and say you're insolent. So I said, that's fine. And I was really proud of myself. I thought insolent meant I'm good. You know, I did a good job. So my father read it. He came and he was furious. His face was red and he slapped me across the face. And I said, oh my God, why did you do that? And he says, you never speak out against authority. Not right now. It's dangerous. I felt very uh, hurt by my father's actions because when you're in grade three, you don't understand that, you know, because in the home, he was telling us, be proud of who you are, you know, don't speak Japanese outside, but you can speak it at home. So it was a very mixed message for me. I, I guess what I learned from my father is probably righteous anger. I still am able to fight the good fight when, it, when, I'm, when push comes to shove. You know, I won't back down. I was very fortunate to have a mother who gave me unconditional love, and I, that's probably why I'm here today. So I thank my mother. Things have changed in terms of laws passed for homophobia and LGBTQ issues. I have um, noticed that they could do better. I noticed that there are mostly white people as representation of the queer community. I don't see visibly any indigenous people, any Asian people, any black people. So we still have lots of work to do. When young Asian queers come to me, I, I, I mentor people and people who are having problems with their parents or their grandparents about coming out. They come and talk to me and I try to support them as much as I could. So I would like their life to be easier. What advice would you give a young queer woman? To be open-minded, uh, to have an open heart, to be creative, um, uh, get support from your elders or fellow, pe fellow queer people. And one more important thing is to celebrate the small victories. There are few and far between, but when they come, they're huge. <laughs>